competition. It is what has defined the gaming industry. The rivalry between competing platforms spurred on by fans whose allegiance supposedly has been earned by the companies toiling hard to grab their attention. Exclusives The primary manner in which the core gaming audience judges the success and failure of a gaming platform, whether it likes to admit it or not. This generation is no different. However, this generation represents that competition reaching unprecedented levels like we have never seen before. Behold, the most exciting of prospect for us gamers as that competition reaches fever pitch, resulting in what will surely be some of the best exclusive experiences we so claim to adore. PlayStation Sitting atop of the throne, having proven without a doubt in not one, not two, not three, but four generations that the mantle belongs to it, having consistently delivered some of the best exclusive experiences to have graced us. It wiped the floor with its so-called competition last generation to the point where it seemed no competition existed at all. But, whilst war never changes, the battlefield certainly has, and Xbox stronger than ever before. Battle hardened and ready, having the most powerful hardware, the most number of studios, and the most consumer friendly service is now beyond recognition. Microsoft is finally all in on gaming, and do not be fooled by its statements to the contrary, for to be successful in business, you must learn the art of war, and Xbox owned by Microsoft is surely aware. So nearly a year from launch, let's take a look shall we, at which one of these two juggernauts looks poised to have the best exclusives. One year on, from what we know so far, what does the future of gaming look like. Well, that's certainly one way to introduce a video this is a conversation you couldn't even have last generation because it was so one-sided that it was futile. But now that PlayStation finally has competition, let's take a look and see what it has in its arsenal. PlayStation is doubling down on its strengths and serving what its audience quite clearly loves, third-person single-player games. Something that Xbox surely cannot hope to match. You cannot talk about the PS5 without now mentioning Insomniac. What an incredible get for PlayStation, as this immensely talented studio has already smashed out of the park with Ratchet & Clank, Rift Apart and Spider-Man 2018 in Miles Morales. Its output defies logic and belief. Spider-Man 2 is going to be a certified hit, and you know it! The announcement of Wolverine shocked everyone, and for good reason. Very few people doubt the quality of this title whenever it sees the light of day. Guerrilla Games have struggled with the Killzone series historically, but have finally found their strength with the Incredible Horizon series, with Forbidden West surely poised to do incredibly well. Santa Monica Studios God of War is now PlayStation's strongest IP and the recent gameplay reveal of Ragnarok proves this even further. God of War Ragnarok is confirmed to be the finale in the Norse saga and you can bet your bottom dollar the studio is going to end it with a bang. The thing is, we haven't even mentioned Naughty Dog and aside from the multiplayer component for The Last of Us 2 that has been MIA for a considerable amount of time, this now legendary studio is surely concocting something potent indeed. The same goes for Sucker Punch, the studio behind the incredible Ghosts of Tsushima.
Racing games are more than just that, whether or not you're a fan of them. There is a massive sense of pride for platform holders with racers. Why? Because this is where you really display your platform's visual fidelity. This is where Uncanny Valley comes in. This is where real life seems indistinguishable from video games. Racers are the visual and technical showcase and the rivalry between Forza and Gran Turismo is unmistakable. Gran Turismo once reigned supreme in the arena, so much so that it inspired Forza Motorsport's creation. However, the student became the master and the Forza Motorsport series has bested Gran Turismo for quite some time. Gran Turismo 7 now has the chance to take back the racing crown and an epic battle between it and Forza Motorsport awaits. But Xbox has something truly special in its arsenal. The Forza Horizon series. This series, created by arguably Xbox's most talented studio, Playground Games, has redefined what constitutes a great arcade racer. Forza Horizon 4 was the best rated racer in not one, but two gaming generations, and Forza Horizon 5 seemingly did the impossible and won Game of the Show at E3 2021. It displayed visuals that almost everyone was convinced was real life. It's going to take something really special to knock away the Horizon series from the top. And I just can't see that happening this generation. But who knows? For now though, all hail the king. Here comes the underdog, which is a strange thing to say when Xbox is owned by that giant monolithic company known as Microsoft. Finally though, Xbox is getting all the attention and resources it deserves and swiftly is becoming a big problem for Sony. 23 game studios with the promise of more to come, there are a lot of titles and a lot of variety here for gamers to enjoy. A far cry from the Xbox One generation. Let's start with Halo. 343 has had a checkered history with the seminal franchise, but all eyes are on Infinite, which shows potential for Halo to reclaim its glory days as the Xbox's flagship title. Xbox now has a ridiculous suite of RPGs at its disposal, and these aren't just minor games. Elder Scrolls 6 is arguably bigger than Halo itself. Yeah, I said it. Then you have Avowed by famed studio Obsidian, Fable being created by Playground Games, Starfield by Bethesda. PlayStation simply cannot compete in this arena. Ninja Theory's Hellblade 2 stands the best chance of being the visual heavyweight and single player game that Xbox desperately needs. Perfect Dark by The Initiative could be something truly special. Well, it really needs to be. Then there are also multiple titles that enable shared co-op experiences like Redfall and State of Decay 3. With its studios now enjoying much larger budgets with a security blanket than Microsoft affords without having to worry about staying afloat in this fiercely competitive industry. Hopefully Rare manages to figure out what kind of game Everwild will be, but as you can see from the games above, there's a lot of variety here. There are a multitude of studios whose projects we don't even know about, like The Coalition. Double Fine proved itself with the excellent Psychonauts 2, so let's see what golden egg Tim Schafer can release in the future. The variety on tap, especially compared to PlayStation, has to be commended. There seems to be something for everyone here, which is great news for Xbox gamers. But a special point has to be made about Xbox Game Pass. All the exclusives mentioned here will appear day and date on the service, 
and that only serves to add more pressure on PlayStation to deliver better bangers to justify the higher cost of entry for its exclusives. Ultimately though, gamers truly care more about the quality of exclusives than their cost. It's unlikely that the Xbox can conceivably outdo PlayStation's single-player strength, but almost every other genre is available to Xbox to dominate. There are no guarantees here though. PlayStation's track record is far superior, whilst Xbox's new acquisitions make any successes less certain. There has been a tremendous turnaround for Xbox, which has resulted in the PlayStation resorting desperately to securing timed exclusives for third-party titles in a similar vein to what Xbox did last generation. But all this points to a very fierce competition, and whilst PlayStation appears to be the market leader with far more global appeal, who knows? If the Xbox can maintain a certain quality standard within its exclusives, we may see a changing of the guard. To me, on paper, Xbox has everything set to shock the industry once again, but PlayStation's Herman House also alluded to 25 exclusives in the works, also hinting at more diversity. This generation has only just begun, so it's not possible to comment with certainty about which platform will have the best exclusives. And that, ladies and gentlemen, makes this all the more fun. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you sincerely for watching.